welcome back. I am sitting on the kitchen floor. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I feel like I've got a big week of work coming up and I'm still not feeling 100%, but that's boring to keep repeating to you guys. Um, I had my friend's hen party last night and it was so much fun. We had such a good time. If you want to see some clips, then go back to the previous video because I would have included them. I was vlogging yesterday too. We had such a good day. We went on a canal boat. We actually spotted James Corden when we were on the canal boat, which was such an interesting experience. You know, when you look at someone, you're like, is that James? And he's very, you know, you can easily identify him. Um, and he waved at us and he was like, oh, hi girls. And like, he seemed lovely. He was with his family. He probably like a bunch of screaming hens was just like not what he wanted for his nice Saturday afternoon on the canal. But yeah, we went to Camden. The hen party was there. We had a nice brunch. Then we ended up doing Lucky Voice karaoke into the small hours. And it was amazing, we had such a good time. I came home, I had some melted cheese on toast when I got in and it was, it was amazing. You know, when you're just like really craving something greasy, but I didn't want to get a McDonald's. I was kind of like, the bal and McDonald's can be a bit chaotic in the evening. I met my friend Freya for coffee this morning. We went to Milk Run in Balham. If you've not been there, you should definitely check it out. It's um, obviously it's just a restaurant to milk. It's where they make all their pastries and their fresh breads and stuff like that. And they do a really good coffee. And it's really cool vibe. I went to Waitrose after I met Freya and I picked up a bunch of stuff. I've also been doing a lot of washing and all that stuff today, which is fun. Of course, there's going to be a little food shop haul in this video, but let's go to the bathroom because I have a bit of skincare that I want to do first and get off the floor. <laughs> it's not comfy at all. These floors are like wooden hard. I'm in the bathroom. I thought because I don't need to leave the house again today, <laughs> it's my favourite thing. I thought I would quickly do some skincare. It's a bit later in the day, but I thought actually rather than waiting until like 10 p.m., I'm gonna do my skincare early evening so that I give it time for it all to sink in and marinate throughout the night. I'm gonna give my skin a quick cleanse and then I'm gonna come back because I've got an exciting product to talk to you guys about. I'm feeling fresh, rejuvenated. I've cleansed my skin. I'm feeling clean. I thought now would be a good time to introduce you guys to today's sponsor. They are the brand and begin. I've been using their new product, which is the serum in a cream for the past four or five weeks. And the results have been quite game changing for me. They are the sister brand of Skin and Me. You've probably heard of Skin and Me. They are a tried and tested brand. And begin have channeled all of the learnings from Skin and Me into this new skincare brand that is designed to support the skin through the aging process. So whether you suffer with fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, breakouts, this product is designed to support the skin throughout that aging process and to provide a tailored skincare solution. You fill out a really simple online medical consultation. You provide some pictures of your skin close up from different angles, and these are sent over to the dermatology team at um, Begin. They will analyze your medical consultation and then provide you with tailored skincare in the post to your door. So depending on your consultation, you will be provided with a mix of either retinols, peptides, hydration. It depends on exactly what concerns and areas you want to target. So let me tell you a bit about my consultation whilst I apply the product. I was told to use four pumps. It takes all the guesswork out of how much to apply, which serums go on first, it is literally like a one-stop shop for your skincare. So when I was filling out my consultation online, I wanted to target fine lines. I do have a few little fine lines, crow's feet around the eyes. It's not that I'm really concerned about them now, but it's more going into the future areas that I actually want to target and keep at a minimum, basically. So I did mention crow's feet, and then I also mentioned plumpness. I feel like you can give such a youthful look to any face if it's got a bit of like plumpness and volume in the cheeks. Obviously it's only been four weeks, but I can already see a little bit of extra like bounce to the skin. You know when you just wake up and you're like, actually I'm having a good skin day today. It's kind of like that, but most days. So if this sounds up your street, then you can follow the link in the description box. It's very simple, click on the link takes you through to the and begin website and you can enter the code jessh09 to get your first order for 4 99 which is such a good deal thank you so much to and begin for sponsoring this portion of the video all right it wouldn't be one of my videos without a food shop haul i feel like it's been too long let's see what i got first thing can't go to waitrose without getting a bunch of their roses look how many you get i think you get like 12 and they're five pounds four cans of john west tuna these are for like lunches at work Cos lettuces, these are my favourite crunch. They give a nice crunch, but they're not icebergs. I picked up these rich and indulgent chocolate fudge 
brownies. These are going to be delish. I thought with a cup of tea this afternoon, they could be a nice treat. The other thing I was getting excited about, I picked up some of this spinach mornay. This is spinach with a rich, mature cheddar and mascarpone cheese sauce. I thought that was going to be delish. I thought we could have this with some salmon or something like midweek and some little crispy potatoes. I got chicken tikka masala for dinner tonight. We're on to the next bag. This is a bit of a big food shop. It actually ended up being quite expensive. Oh my God, also another good thing. Oh God, I really went, I really got lots of like treats today. These are incredible. Usually we get like the big ones that are like, you know, the size of a goo pudding. These taste amazing, please try them. Two garlic and coriander naans. Yeo Valley yogurt. I like to take a few scoops of this in a little Tupperware. You know, my little small Tupperware, so let me show you. I like to fill up some yogurt in here. I put some honey, which I've got in the cupboard. I've just started buying the jars of honey because I feel like a jar of honey is like three quid cheaper than a squeezy bottle of honey and you get more in it. So anyway, I put a little bit of honey and then in a separate pot, I take another one of these with a bunch of nuts and then it's a really nice breakfast. So I picked up some of this, some of our favorite lentils, these French tomatoey ones. I got a little tub of single cream because one of my lovely viewers in the comments gave me such a good idea. Well, she gave me her idea, which is when she's making pasta, she'll make She'll use like a chili pesto or something and then she puts a little bit of single cream in there just to like make it into more of a kind of creamy sauce and i thought that was such a good idea i've never thought to do it for matt you know he loves his chicken madras this one was on sale i mean we only got i don't know like atp off but delish he got a madras i got one of these which is aloo gobi sag this is potato cauliflower spinach and then coriander and fenugreek see matt's such a funny guy he will not eat coriander he will not eat cauliflower in anything else, but he loves it in this, which makes me think you don't actually hate it. You must really like it. I got some ham also for lunches for me, maybe like a ham sandwich. These I thought were a really good deal. So like Waitrose is an expensive shop for like these silly little things that you definitely don't need to be buying or like that spinach stuff that you don't need. But they're like basics, the salmon, these salmon fillets, I think for eight pounds for four, which is two pounds of salmon fillet. In Sainsbury's, I'm paying like over five quid for two, which is a big saving. We get through a lot of fish. I don't really like cooking chicken from fresh. Um, I don't obviously don't mind it in a curry and stuff, but I don't want to like handle raw chicken. I just find it a bit gross. I've just said I don't like handling raw chicken, but this is actually a bake in the oven. There's no bones in it and you get a lot of meat. Um, God, this is a bit gross, but there you go. That's what it looks like. This was quite expensive. I think this was nine pounds actually. That was the full shop and we got lots of nice treats in here. So I'm gonna put this food shopping away now and I will chat to you guys in a little bit. It's Monday. I'm just heading down to the post office. It's lunchtime. I've got a bunch of returns that I need to do. I'm returning those and other stories dresses and I'm returning a pair of shorts from COS. Um, they just didn't fit and I didn't like the look of them. So I'm going to do that. I stayed home today to work from home. This is my one day at home this week. Um, I've actually got a work offsite on Thursday, which is going to be really nice. So I realised I have another day at home that I can use. So I thought, let me just do Monday. Um, I'm not feeling 100% still. So it makes a good use of the day. I'm also going to see if I can get a little pedicure on my lunch break. This should take me like five minutes to return these. And then I thought, let me just see. I don't want shellac, but I do want just a clean up of the cuticles and like all the hard skin and stuff. Gross, but I just need it. My feet are not in good condition at the moment. I'm home from the post office. It was actually so much warmer than I was even expecting. 
I could only return one of my packages, which is really annoying. I need to find in every place, like another post office that accepts every deliveries and do that. But I think I'll do it tomorrow when I'm in the office because I couldn't really be bothered like traipsing around trying to find it today. But it's such a nice day and I'm actually taking the opportunity to get loads of washing done. Um, I've kind of washed my pyjamas. I'm doing my like bed sheet washing and stuff. So that's always a good thing when it's hot. I'm just gonna make a bit of lunch now. I don't have too long until my next call. I was out for about half an hour, so I need to quickly make a sandwich and then get on. I'm gonna do tuna with jalapenos and dill, which is gonna be nice, and a bit of like crunchy lettuce, and then just kind of sit and work for the rest of my lunch break. So I'm gonna insert some footage now of me making my lunch. <laughs> guys I have my sandwich which is actually all falling apart now but I just made tuna I mean you saw me make the whole thing I've also been watching Tanya Burr's uh, renovation vlogs and I'm absolutely loving them I'd love to see a quite a fast progress of these renovation things you know when people like upload part one and then part two is coming in like 18 weeks like her house I think is taking about a month to renovate and I'm here for it. I really am such an impatient person. I really like to see things quickly. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I'm actually gonna put it on in the background while I do a little bit of work and then I've got a call soon. So I need to get on with that. But yeah, today has been a very busy day. I didn't get the pedicure. Did I tell you that already? I can't remember. That's fine. I can deal with my toes for another few days and I can actually give myself a little at home pedicure, which is probably more cost effective as well. But I thought, let me end this video here. Thank you so much again to Anne Begin for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to use the discount code, it's JessH09 to get your first serum in a cream for just 4 99 The link is in the description box. It'll take you through to the website and then just enter the code. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to take a big bite of my sandwich and look how good it looks. Dill is just, you guys know how much I love dill and I thought I'd put a bit of pesto on there. Mm. Bye.